Hey gamers, we're back! Hi everyone! Time to be productive once again. Alright, let's let's get everything started. Let's get everything started. The scene we're working on today, or that we're starting with, is this one. I want to I think I think uh I have a lot of frames left to do that is set in this particular scene. So I think I want to just keep working on this particular scene and just knock out a few more shots. Um yeah, this is the 3D shot of it that we're going to use as reference. Let me find it. This is the 3D shot we're using. So this is what it will look like. Imagine this in the scene. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi guys, hello. Let me make sure I got it all set up. Hello. Um, gosh, I mean, I don't know what lore to give beyond this is the shot. <laughs> Hey guys, this is a shot! Uh, wait, let me... hold on. Okay, let me make sure the gray covers this. Hey guys, this is a shot. Oh, and then... Yeah, okay. So we're drawing all of this. Oh, shit. It's fine. It's gonna be okay. We're so strong. We can do this, for sure. <laughs> but right, it's it's like it's like uh I mean I guess I could give lore, but it's also like what well, I guess what lore is there to give? I can kind of describe what's what's what the things in the backgrounds are. I could I could go with that. So But first let me kind of determine where certain elements are. I'm so strong! I'm so strong! And so are you! I hope you're recovering well, Whiskers. I hope you are no longer feeling that sick. Ooh. Hmm. I'm gonna check something in the 3D. Having a 3D model is quite nice. I've had friends be like, why did you go through all this trouble for doing the 3D? And I was like, Wait, but, 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 it, it makes it easier, copium. It was- it was a good idea to model the entire house in 3D. What do you mean? Uh, okay. Alright, so I think the banner in the back is something like about right here. Are people allowed to touch another person's wings or is it a partner thing only? I mean, I the wing is just like another limb, I'd say. It's like someone's arm, so you could definitely touch it, but it's a little bit like... How to say it? The, the thing about feathers, though, is that it can be kind of ruffled, right? So it would be kind of like... <laughs> you can grab someone's head like a soccer ball. Like a basketball, you can just reach out and grab someone's head, but it's kind of deemed maybe not super appropriate because it's like you could mess up their hair maybe, but also like, why would you grab their head when you can just grab their arm <laughs> a little bit? So it's also like, why would you grab their wing, which is like arguably like maybe not as convenient as just grabbing their arm maybe? Uh, and plus like grabbing someone's wing is like, I feel like it would not be very conducive to communicating with them. So it's like, it's a little bit like, it's not like it's a very private thing, but it's also like, it might be a weird choice to make given other options. That's, that's my thoughts on grabbing someone's wing. Okay, I'm gonna move this back a bit just so it looks nicer. And then I'm going to... Just because I'm like a little bit uncertain, I'm gonna make the ropes 
on a separate layer. When MC walks behind their parents, do they hold onto the hem of their clothes of the tip of their wing? I think, you know, I think it can vary. I think it can vary. I think like they probably prefer hem of their clothes because the hem is like not as not as like fragile. I think you you can bend feathers, right? So it would be like. It would be like a shy kid grasping their parents' hair as they hide behind them. It's like, you can do that. This is a thing a kid would do. Is it preferable? Well... <laughs> well... <laughs> uh... Yeah, like like some, some kids definitely like yank on their parents' hair when they need something and it's like, oh, maybe don't do that. <laughs> But also, like, I guess you're a kid, so what can you do, right? Let's see here. I'm gonna... Wow, I love copy and paste, you guys. Mmm, I love to copy and paste. A C is probably only that big. Why would it be bigger? No, it could be bigger. It could be like this. Blink redeem, blink redeem, don't forget to blink, you guys! Haha, <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to blink! Alright, let me just put down a one point perspective just to keep things consistent. I'm gonna say perspective's probably here, the point is here. So if that's the case, this rope is in the wrong spot. It would be like here. And then this rope is also in the wrong spot. It would be here. And maybe this one? We could get away with it being right like here. Wow! I love, I love it when perspective all comes together. Oh, wait a minute! Whiskers, you're working? Bro, that's fucked up. I can't believe you don't get more days off. That's that's so sad. Ay. I hope you recover even more soon. That's rough. That's real rough. I'm going to make it this color. I'm realizing now that it's probably like too dark. But well, I'll fix it in a moment. I'll make you like maybe this color. Maybe? No, oh, I feel like you should be just a little bit darker. I'm waiting for it to save. That's <laughs> why so I just paused for a bit there. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Can a bird person with a, wear a backpack and still fly? You would have to wear the backpack in front. Um, here's an example. Here's a shot. There's a shot where Shuri is flying with Taba, 
probably going to do an errand as a baby. Here is the guy. I'm looking for the shot. Here it is. It would have to be in front. See? Like like a like a little like those like bear baby what do they even call this? I forgot what this is called. But I know in our world too we also carry the baby in the front. But you all you can also notice that the garters are a little bit different. The garters, the belts. The belts are doing this, and then they're going around like a really strong like neck part. So they're not doing this. Which would be a problem because there's not really enough that would in that would affect how well you can fly. So instead it's going around into like a collar. I mean I think um what is it? Just to make it less painful, one, you can notice it's not a thin collar. I think I might alter the design so that it's more like it's more like this, so it's also like grabbing onto some of the back of your shoulders as well for support. It might be like more like a mantle instead of a collar. You know what, I might make that change right now because I feel like otherwise it might be a little bit like, it might not feel very great. I'm gonna make it more like a, like a mantle. Baby, baby holder mantle. And then it could go like this a little bit. Why is this? Hmm? Oh, never mind. It's just it crosses over for some reason. I don't know why. I'm going to put maybe Yes? I'm like hesitating a little bit because I'm like, is this wrong? Part of me is like, what? There should be more dots. <laughs> there should be more dots. It's fine. It's probably fine. Actually, let me just fix this. There should be more dots. Okay, so that's Shuri, and I think the subsequent frames are... I can just copy-paste this whole area. Copy-paste. Right. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, back to here. It would be like... Wait, this is a cool camera move. Let's watch this camera move. Stage view. Oh, no, it was- it was in camera move. It would be like this, and then it would go here. Oh, I like a fun old camera transition. Back to work, back to work, back to work.
Did I do any work on baby development over the first one to ten, one to five years? Is it gonna be as slow as humans? I don't know actually, Whiskers. I will confess, I actually don't know that much about baby development. Oops. Um. So, the way I've divided the first few updates is I I kind of divided it based on like a little bit less on age for now and more like how I envision. Like, like, in my brain, like, I'm dividing them more of, like, in stages of, like, understanding and maturity a little bit. But I should probably have the ages nailed down. But basically, this first update is, like, Tava going from baby to just starting to have their, like, first memories and personality shine through. I don't actually know when that happens. I just know in my own life, from what I recall of my baby ears, there was a point somewhere in like first grade or like third grade where I like started like from now as an adult where I can kind of start like remembering things. <laughs> like there are flashes of things that I remember from like preschool and kindergarten, but I feel like back then It's, it's more like, how, how to say this, I felt like... I, I felt like I was a parrot parroting things. Like I didn't even really fully remember the things I did. I was in like... I was in like survival mode. <laughs> maybe that's not accurate, maybe that's not a thing. But maybe I just have bad memory of my early years. But uh, definitely this like, this first area is like Taba just kind of like being alive, learning what it means to be alive, and kind of understanding the status quo of their world. And then at the end of this update is kind of like your first big personality shaping choice for them. And then the next update is I want Taba, I want it to be the years where Taba starts to really develop their personality and starts to remember all the shit they get up to. Uh, well, it depends on what you choose for them, right? Like, if you choose to have Taba be, like, a very, like, very nice kid that's very, like, not troublemaking, then maybe it's, like, fond memories of them making friends and having, like, you know, not chaotic memories. Very obedient child. But, like, if you choose, like, 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 yeah, like, something a little more chaotic, then it'll be different. But, um... But I see, so animals go really fast so I can make it up. So I, I guess I can choose between like baby and animal. I think in that case, maybe this is leaning more towards human babies rather than animal. Um, when memories start, that's when the realization of one's own self and when Taba flies is probably going to be important. Unfortunately, when Taba flies, I think it for Taba it happens so early that I don't think Taba is going to be like, this is a magical memory because like here it is. Here's this scene. I don't know, I guess like, it, Taba flying could be like a really magical moment for them, but I think for them, they might only remember vague inklings of it. Because in my brain, I think Taba flying is less like Kiki and Kiki's delivery service learning to fly on her broom, but it's a little bit more like, uh, it's, I guess for, for, for a human, Equivalent or metaphor might be like learning how to walk, I think. I don't remember when I learned how to walk. I uh, I only know that I there was a point where I did not walk and then there was a point where I did walk. <laughs> so I think like Taba has like vague recollections of this happening, right? So these are actually all of these instances. These are all Taba's memories. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, I did this off screen. I'll show you this. This is Taba flying on Nala's, uh, well, this is not Nala's. This is Nala's vehicle. This might be Shiri's vehicle. But like a bunch of birds fly by and then this is, this is Taba being like, ah, girls. This is a fond memory that they have. Yeah, these are all like flashes of their childhood memories, I think. As they as they get older, they will have like vague recollections of these. Which is also why if you go to the very 
early shots of their childhood memories. I want these to go by super fast because they they barely remember these. Or like some of them, maybe it's not even fully like them remembering. It's just like the vague idea that yes, I was fed as child. <laughs> yes, I was fed as child. Something about being underwater. Food, yummy. But then I think Tava would, would like remember this, which is like Nala fucking water gunning them. Oh yeah, wait, I need to show you this. The guys that show you this, this is the final uh, version of this scene. Well, for now. I'm going to show this off so hard. So in the back, this little sign right here, this sign, this is like... This is a store that's using like fish scales to display their information. You saw me working on this. This is the final version. What do you guys think of the influencer bunny? Is this your Oshi? <laughs> and then here is also the final version of the store sign. I think I'm going to alter it a little bit. I think some of the characters are a little bit too big compared to other ones. I know this kanji is really big. So this kanji is, it would fit into this square. It's a little bit fat. Fat? Nothing wrong with fat. It's a little bit too like horizontally squat. It's too squat? It's too like, to this. I need it to be more like perfectly square. As you can see, my calligraphy could use work. But this is, this should be square. And I think maybe this should also be this could be like extending out of the square because this extends out but I want most of these to be like square, 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 mostly. Bunny idol when? Right? I mean this is kind of like a bunny idol, sort of. They're like influencer. I think this person streams. <laughs> I think they stream. And then, yeah, those are the scenes. That's the scene I did. This is another scene that I drew, which is um, they're at their kotatsu and they're watching TV on the hollow, uh, 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 the hologram, not a hologram. It's not made from electricity. It's magic based, magical hologram. Yeah, shot. Anyways, yes, those are, those are, I, I show you those things. I show them to you. All right, all right. Now we're back. Okay. I can decide how I draw this. I'm not beholden to perspective, I say. Opium. Consume all the Lorbis? Thank you, thank you. Mm. Yeah, I appreciate the interest in the lore. Let's heckin' go. Let's heckin' go. I think starting from here, there's like one bar that goes this way. So I'm drawing the ramps. So in their house, their Shuri lives. Shuri lives in like a somewhat fancy looking space, but it actually is. Um... Okay, wait. Let me let me rewind this. I think before talking about the space she lives in, I should talk about the space that they work in. So they, uh, they're basically an archivist for a library. In this world currently, I don't think so. So like libraries have become even more like 
like museums of a sort. The libraries in this town are famous because long, long, long time ago, people decided to make libraries in the trees and it turned into a tourist destination. So these libraries are famous and Shuri works in these libraries and the people that work at these libraries get free housing and the housing that they can live in are they are refurbished refurbished um they are refurbished and redivided areas <laughs> I'm, I'm really struggling to phrase what i'm talking about because i don't know what the official name for this is but basically so the people a long time ago who made these libraries they were really rich right so they also built their living spaces connected to the libraries but they're not here anymore they're dead right like <laughs> sorry i'm not ex doing the best work explaining this but uh basically uh they these really nice living spaces have been kind of like divided into like cohabitation spaces and then these librarians or these people that work at these libraries now live there but it's been like divided but they're still like cohabitation spaces so like the kitchen and like the living room they're like they are in these like really fancy looking wide open spaces and then the places where they live in like the bedrooms are like upstairs and they've kind of been like divided and remodeled into like more smaller modern spaces and the area behind this kitchen dining area it looks like a series of ramps and the reason why it's a series of ramps is that this is like this is from a long time ago so back then teleporting was even less accessible so if you wanted to get to the upstairs area and you could not fly and you were like a snake these ramps would be like the way that you would like meander your way to like the upstairs. And the meandering is such a long distance that they've created like living spaces in between the meandering. So like there's like the living room is like on one of these ramps. It's a little hard to explain. Wait, let me just show you the 3D. So if we if we move past and through uh through this this kitchen area you see this kitchen area right here so outside of this kitchen area right here these are the ramps so if you were a snake you would just like really meander your way up it's way more modernized now, so the, they've installed like a little elevator here. <laughs> I want to say that in this world, elevators are probably super accessible and like way cheaper to install because a lot of places require elevators. There's too many species and too many species that would struggle to get to multiple floors without elevators. So elevators are way more accessible, they're way cheaper. Um, they, uh, it's, it's easy to get them installed. It's common also to get them installed into your house. So here's like an elevator here, but if you take the traditional way, you got to go up all these ramps. You got to go all up these ramps, um, past the living room area, past this little pool area for, uh, residents and guests who enjoy water up the side of this ramp. And then you get to the second floor. I gently close the blender. All right, let's get back to the boards. Yeah, I'm drawing. I'm drawing all these ramps, baby. I'm drawing all these ramps. Okay. 
ramps. You get a ramp. And you get a ramp. I'm gonna move these ramps down. That feels right. Okay. Go up this way, and then this is the floor, and then you go up another ramp. Ooh, hachi, fucking machi, bro. I need to start just like this is like this is the first time you're seeing the ramp from this angle, so I'll do it in more detail. In the future, this ramp is gonna be like a series of lines. <laughs> I'm not gonna draw this every single time. Plus, I think it would be too much noise, right? Look, this is how it looks like as of right now, which is maybe like, it seems like a little bit noisy, maybe? Hmm. Something like that. Okay, and then I want a column here. One column, please. This looks confusing. So it would go from like. Pop. Okay, that does look a little bit confusing. I'm gonna erase the background starting from like here. Or actually, I'll just do this. Blink, redeem, blink, redeem, don't forget the blink. Okay, that looks great. That looks cool. And there's Kotasu here as well. Oh, uh, never mind. It's probably being blocked by Taba's head. Totally fine. Kotatsu! I love Kotatsu! Kotatsu! What a what an incredible invention. Honestly, just like so incredible. I love Kotatsu. It's so good. Uh, 
Oh wow, I think that might be the background. It just might be it. Um... Wallflowers. Okay. Wow. We've done it. like that we've got a bunch of frames done hi Jen hello hello I'm doing I'm doing some frames how's it going Jen this is Shuri talking to Taba we did a little transition frame so it's like this is this is like a scene where Shuri is just like explaining the basics of how the magic system works in this world. And then they're talking. That's what's up. That is what is up. It looks so good, thank you! Thank you! I'm excited for this. I, I know I'm always so excited for my web series. I'm excited for my web series. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. Uh... Okay, so this is the hard part. I like- this is not- I think I need to do it maybe like- like- like this a little bit because Eek. Eek. Cause it's like, ah, fuck. I, I need like one more frame, I think. I need one more frame. Because they're like, they're, they're sitting on swings basically. So they have swings at their dining table instead of actual chairs. And the reason for this is because I think a lot of species, a lot of species would benefit from seating that doesn't have a back. So either it would just be like bar stools or swings, and I was like, oh, swings could be fun. A, a swing is very like reminiscent of what birds like to sit on and perch on. So I was like, oh, let's do swings. But then now I'm like, <laughs> it was a cool, it's, it, it makes for some great shots. But then also I'm like, oh, the, the, the details of it definitely are like a little harder to figure out. You look very soft. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I need like friggin' like one more frame. I need another frame of them like. Hold on. It would be like. This is how the other frame would have to be. You know what I mean? It has to be like them getting up like that. Wait, I could just make this- I could just make this the shot. This is actually great. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I did a great job outlining the, the- the general shape of things. Hold on a fucking second, bro. Wait, I can just use this. Shree? Thank you so much, Jen! I hope things are going well for you. Um, I hope, you know, all the prep work you're doing is going well. Can I just say, your thumbnail game, you've been no knocking it out of the park. The Grand Blue Spark one, I saw it on YouTube and I laughed. I'm like, it's so good! <laughs> the thumbnails are so good! You are training yourself. You are becoming so strong. 
let's heckin' go. Like, your thumbnails, I'm like, oh shit, dude, this is like some professional-ass thumbnails. Oh my goodness. Wait, you guys, check out Jen! I can't do shoutouts on YouTube, but... Jen, you should go check out Jen! I love Jen. I love Jen so much. I love Jen so very, very, very much. Please go check out Jen. Jen streams so many fun games. Jen has been playing a lot of Unicorn Overlord. Overload? Overlord. It's been great. I have really enjoyed the bits that I saw. There's a lot of very attractive characters in that game. Real good stuff. Real good stuff. You're a baby? You are the world's strongest baby. Everyone... All, all the other babies quake in fear of you. But in like a good way. Uh, wait, what the hell is- Oh, okay. Shuri's wearing- Okay, I know what Shuri's wearing. I'm like, what What the hell are you wearing, Shuri? I'm like, you can't just wear a t-shirt. Where, where do your wings go? Okay, it's like a very loose-fitting shirt, I think. I think that's what Shuri's wearing. Shuri's wearing like a very loose-fitting shirt with like little cuffs. And then it has like the back open and it links to like a collar. Collar? No, it links to like a... Um, corset kind of deal. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I see it. I see it. So in that case, I am missing this. Let's see. Follow Chom Chom? What do you mean? What the? No need to follow that friggin' egg. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I, uh, sometimes I, I stream as an egg. Haha. <laughs> You'll have to scrounge around for details on that yourself, you guys. Haha. <laughs> um. Oh, you missed the development talk? It's okay. We can return to it. We can return to it. Um. Where did? Well, where did you? What was the last thing you heard? Whiskers. Also, I can't believe that you're working so soon after being sick. I'm so sorry. You know what? I think it would... I think I just need... I need Shuri to be even larger. Shuri, you're not large enough. And also, I think if this is the shot, Shuri, I think your hand needs to go like this instead. You would be... You would be grabbing on this. Tension point, tension point, tension points. Do I actually know anything about tension points? No, but I'm drawing my best. Um, Shuri chest, Shuri chest. And then... Corset, 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 corset. Looks great. Then 
No! Oh, that sucks, Whiskers. Oy. We're already back to work, man. Bug. That super sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear this. Well, I'm glad that you know you're you're not letting work pile up. I'm very sorry to hear that you gotta get back to work quite so soon. I wish you a swift, swift recovery at work. I hope your recovery is so swift, so fast, so... That's you and your recovery. Uh, hold on. Am I using... Maybe it's actually this color to make it consistent. Wait, where's the... Where's the leakage? Oh, really? Okay, never mind. One second. Oh, that's what caused it, huh? Replace. Okay. okay, let's see if this works. Oh, it works! Uh, okay, but you know what would look even better? I think it would look even more natural if it was a little bit like... It was a little bit more like this, and Shuri was just barely like. There we go. And then here, I think Shuri needs to be actually like like here. Oh, there we go. It works. It works. It works. Fuck, I almost want to say Shuri in this frame needs to be even larger, too. Like, I keep going like, You need to be bigger! You need to be bigger, Shuri! Okay, but if it's like this... Okay, that works. Hi, the star from the Hazel. Hello. I cannot understand what you are saying. So I think uh, um, I understand this might come across initially as an un unreasonable ask because not everyone speaks English. But preferably, if you could speak primarily English, I would greatly appreciate it because um, I just gotta make sure that no one is saying anything incredibly inappropriate in a different language. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like on, on one glance on one glance it's like, oh yeah, people can probably speak whatever language they like, right? It's like, why am I policing what language you're speaking in chat? But then I realize if I don't know what you're saying, you could be saying very inappropriate and very bad things, and I would have no way of moderating you. So um the star from Hazel, if you could speak English and stick with English, I'd greatly appreciate that. I, uh... I think I... if, uh... hmm... Yeah, yeah, I would greatly appreciate that. Do I want this to be, like... You're gonna say- you're gonna start saying swear words in Mando? What the heck? What the heck? Oh, I put that in grave BG. Wait, this is the wrong layer. This is the wrong layer. Oh, board, 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 wrong layer. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this is like gray block. Did you just say I die? I think you did just say I die. Ah. <laughs> uh... We're rubbing off on you. This is great. We have a great sense of vocabulary. You're gonna speak in ID lostisms, and that's fantastic. What a what a wonderful rare opportunity to learn the beautiful ID lostisms. Okay, let's see. Chop. Okay, that works great. Don't you want to speak in ID Lostisms? You love ID Lost. You love ID Lost.
That's one way of putting it. Yeah, if you want to be Sundere, you know, that's totally your own choice. I just think the ID lostisms are so fun, so cute. Okay, and then there's also, and then I can, okay, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna copy, paste them over here. Taba looks so lost. Don't be lost, Taba. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. You are meeting new friends. Do not, do not fret, Taba. I'm gonna put these like behind Taba. There's like a little chair under Taba, like a little kitty chair. I don't think I'm gonna draw it in. I think it's 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 implied that it's there. In some other shots you'll see it. It's just it's such a small detail, I don't think I need to draw it in. Taba cute. Taba! Little Bailey. Treat Taba well, please. Going forward, please choose options that will be good for Taba. Please give Taba lots of love. You know, have Taba's well-being in mind when choosing options. Of course, like, I'm not gonna incorporate things that are like too wild that would, I don't know, land Taba in jail or anything like that. But there's definitely going to be options going forward that are like a little more goofy. Options that um, could give Taba some challenges going forward. If, if you know what I mean. Just like you can choose to have Taba be like a real gremlin. And just, you know. It could be fun though. It could be fun. This whole thing, I'm also joking. I'm not gonna like put any choices in there that are like detrimental to my story. It's always gonna be good for the story. So don't you worry. You're gonna take Tama down a dark road! <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have Taba. Taba's mouth make some changes. Mouth is too big. Okay, this needs to be out. I also need Taba's eyes to kind of like vary in sparkle size. Um,
I don't know if I hold on, give me a second. I'm gonna like look at the dialogue. Well, the rough dialogue that I have in place for this area, and then kind of decide if I need more frames. Okay, I need more frames here. Need way more. Kyle, okay, okay. One second, please. The deer looks very cute too. Thank you. The deer is very cute. Do you want to see the deer kid? I think I've shown you the deer kid before, right? This is the deer kid. This is their first meeting. I will like change the background a bit. The deer kid's like, mm, I don't care. But yeah, deer kid. <coughs> oh, it's here. Look, okay, I need more frames here. I need so many more frames. I need like twice the amount of frames. There we go. Good. We just need like one more. Okay, and then we merge these together, merge layers, yes, figures, into white please. Hmm. 
like it. I like this one too. Crab. Don't want this. We want this one. Fish the lot. And let's get these guys. Whoa! Select the layers. Cool. Differently, the others is this one. C or V. Okay. Oh my goodness! All right, these two frames were good to go. I I, I cook them. I cook them. Oh my gosh. Wait, I've done so many frames this week. Oh my goodness. But granted, they're all easy frames, right? They're all like the same frame. They're all the same scene. I'm just copy pasting the backgrounds, but still it makes me happy to see so much green on my timeline. I'm just gonna count how many I've done. Oh my gosh, I've done six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19! Yippee! <laughs> Hello, Kathal! What's up, my guy? Hello! Oh my goodness, hi! Uh, uh, uh what, what scene am I drawing? I'm, I'm showing a scene where Shuri is teaching the main character, Taba. Taba's here. This is Taba. Shuri is teaching Taba about how magic works in their world well like very vaguely right because i think there's a lot there's a lot about magic that can be a little bit like confusing i think so i definitely wanted to spoon feed people very slowly okay. oh my gosh Tell me you are lurking too. Hello, hello. Nato B, so happy to see you here and lurking. Let's heckin' go. Hello, Huntress. Oh my gosh, hi guys. Please enjoy your lurk. Nato B, so happy to see you here. Hope you're doing well.
Hello, hello. Let's see. Okay. So I think having four frames for Shuri speaking here is fine. And then for Taba, I think. Uh, I need like three more frames for Taba at least. All right. A nice milestone. I, I contemplate this. Okay. I'm going to make sure my script is consistent. How's the boarding? It's going good! Wait! <laughs> it's okay, this is not animating. This is so- uh, I still think it's fairly far from- from animation. Copy this one. I'm gonna duplicate this. Mm. That should do it, I think. This is a little confusing. It's fine, we're getting there. We're getting there, okay. You know, I thought having all these bubbles would make things easier. I don't know if it makes things easier. I'm like, oh, this is like, you know those like scenes in anime where it's like the characters turn into chibi and they're explaining something with very simple animation to cut down on animating costs? That's what I'm doing here, but I'm also like, Oh, the way I've layered everything just makes it like it, it's still hard. <laughs> I've still made it hard for myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, okay. I want you. I want this frame. Okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. I see your beautiful name update. I love the little quote, not to bees. <laughs> Very good, extremely good. I love it, I love it. Nottlebees, how are you doing today? It's been a while, hope you're doing good. Oh, is it almost is is it almost lunchtime? Did you have a good lunch? And then Nice. Very good recommendation. Extremely good. Okay, 
I'm going to grab these two. Oh boy, these layers. And then I'm going to axe these. Okay, and then I'm gonna take these layers and I'm gonna axe. Mouth animation is doing a little bit better. I think the eyes should keep cycling between big and small, but I think the mouths could be a little bit different. Like for here, I want I want this mouth to be like like that. They do be yapping a little bit. In a little. Ah, I had it selected. Alas, what have I done? It's fine. Me muttering to myself, it's fine, 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 it's fine. Let's fucking go. Okay, so it's gonna be like, let me look at these frames. One, two, three. One, two. I need like one more frame for this. Two, three. Okay, that's the one I want. So I'm gonna duplicate this frame, and then I want this animation. What? What noise? <laughs> did, I, did I make a weird noise? I just need to get rid of this little hand. Goodbye, hand. You will be missed. <gasps> oh, 
my god. Oh, I'm like, where, where did this line come from? Okay, there we go. Yippee! Okay. Okay, we're making good progress. We're making good progress. Or make sure the pack mates are jiggling a jiggling and then I need one more frame. Fuck. It's fine. It's all gonna be okay. Just one more. Just one more, guys. Just one more. <laughs> one more! One more! Okay, hold on. I want this frame to be here. Is this in Storyboard Pro? Yeah, it's in Storyboard Pro. <laughs> what the? <laughs> yes, I'm pro. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the compliment. Yeah, yeah, this is in Storyboard Pro. I, uh, I'm a huge fan of Storyboard Pro. So true, Hunch. Just one more. Just one more. This frame. Okay, okay, copy. Paste these. One more. Wait, what kind of pizza are you eating, not the bees? This little hand. Ah. I love my web series. Ah. Ah, 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 ah. That's me yelling. Okay, well, first of all, I'm gonna say these frames are done. They're green now. Do, 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 do. And then. Okay, we have these frames. I'm gonna do a little jiggly with them. I'm gonna do just like the slightest jiggle. These are also done. Ooh, I'm feeling good! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Everybody, we're getting so much done! Wow! 
Wow. Okay. I do a little stretch break though. Stretch redeem. I do a stretch redeem. I do a hydration redeem. Do a posture check. Cheese pizza, Kalawa pig and cauliflower. Oh my goodness, Nato Beats, that sounds so tasty. What a heck, that sounds so good. That sounds like unreal flavor in the best way possible. Okay, I just need three frames. I'm gonna do this. Two more frames. No, I need- yeah, I need three whole new frames. I believe, I believe. Are these the one more three frames? <laughs> yeah, this is the this is the one more three frames. <laughs> it's like I say, just one more frame, and then the frame shadow clone jutsus into three more of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Give me, give me these rings. Give me these rings. You could, you could tell that I was like wising up near the end of these, and I was dividing the figures in the foreground with the fill in the background. That was making it easier. This one, this one's different. This is the next one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Totally, 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 totally.
Ah, oh, I feel so good right now. I'm like a, I'm like a machine. I'm printing these out, baby. Ah, oh. my cheese levels are huge. I'm fully cheesed out. Oh my gosh, let's hacking go. Let's hacking go, dude. Cheese levels are unreal, they're unparalleled. That's a, that's a whole bunch of new frames finished. My goodness, I feel so happy. I feel so cheesed. Wait, 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 no, fuck. Ah, shit. I need to fix some... Um, fix Thomas' eyes. <sighs> it's, it's fine. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna select these eyes. Um, and copy. And I'm going to... Delete this. Wow, this looks really messy. Wrong color. I thought I was done. I thought we were so close. Okay, okay, we're almost there. Almost there. I'm just gonna manually fill these in. Otherwise, it's like way too messy. like a double frame here like the same we're not we're not out of the gate yet i'm epsoning so true i be printing and you finished 100 of current fontaine wow what the heck you're actually too strong I am nowhere near finishing Fontaine. Very powerful of you, very powerful of you. Congratulations, congratulations. Oh my gosh, Dusk, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You, I point at you, I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I, 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 I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Very flattered. 
I'm like flesh emoji right now, like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I think, like, I, 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 I don't know, it, it, it catches me off guard still sometimes when people are like, oh, your art, and then they're like very excited about it. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Okay, there's a little bit of jitter in a couple of these frames, but I don't think they're going to be very noticeable, especially when they're timed out according to how long the lines are. So I think we might be good. I'm double checking based off the line length. Yeah, I don't think it's a problem. Timed out like that. So so like that kind of like slow bit by bit, that was like how how it would be timed out, more or less. It it, it looks fine. It looks fine. <laughs> Rude? Always pointing at people? What the heck? <laughs> what the heck, whiskers? What the heck? I'm feeling so incredibly cheesed. I'm like, oh, we can keep going. We can keep going. I'm definitely running closer to the end of my uh, endurance, though. But hold on. I'm going to drink some water. So I like how this background looks a lot, but it's not what the background looks like. The background looks like background it goes straight so you see how in my boards it was uh oh okay this is a little bit hard okay i think wait no this is above the kitchen okay there we go this would be this would be the shot i think Well, actually, now that I'm looking at the layout, I don't know if... I don't know if I would frame the shot the same way. No, it can still be done. So I think this is the shot, right? So this is a Taba POV. Taba sitting... Taba is sitting in this chair. This is the chair Taba's sitting in. So if we were to do Taba POV, I'm gonna scooch a little bit closer. This would be Taba POV. This can still work. This can still work. You would have you would have the people walking in. You would have the people walking in a little bit smaller and towards the middle of the floor. <laughs> yeah, I'm going in 3D as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh it's uh it's it's def it was definitely a lot. I think I was very fueled by brain worms. There was a lot of specific detailing I needed for my boards that I needed I, I realized I needed to have some kind of reference for it because there was there was a lot of very specific placements of things. The thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So if we were to do a sketch layer, I want to say that first of all, we're going to change the perspective because we know now the perspective is more like more like here. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, we're like too high up. This is more like the perspective. There we go, I think. Whoa. Yeah, something like that. This is the perspective. This is the perspective. 
Taba POV. POV your Taba. Um, yeah, somewhere here. Thank you for the heart! I see that heart. Every time someone uses the heart, I'm like, wow, technology! <laughs> Whoa, a heart! <laughs> okay. You're right, Cathal. Brainworm gets me so far. Yeah, three D is three D is um, a, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but I think the good thing about three D is that you kind of don't have to. Hmm, I would I would argue that you kind of don't have to worry too much about about going by the rules if you are just building something for yourself for reference. So when you're doing 3D, I think a lot of people will say, oh, you should build from like one polygon. Because normally when you create assets for games, um, you, you, you want the whole skin to be in one polygon. Oh, not plug on. No, that's not wrong. That's that's totally wrong. You want you want the skin to basically not be a bunch of objects. You you prefer it to be like just like one one thing. So that is like difficult to do. But if you're just building reference, you can just put spheres and rectangles together and just kind of smush them together in like an approximate shape of how you want things to be. So it does make it easier that way. If you're just putting things together like Lego blocks, it makes it way easier. So, going into 3D, if you want to try out doing 3D for reference, I cheer for you. You got this. You got this, Dusk. What? <laughs> no! Dusk re-downloading re -downloading Maya to explode his laptop instantly. Oh. Adios. And do I see this world in my dreams, Whiskers? I actually don't. A, a lot of this world building I have to do like manually in my brain. I think, um, yeah, weirdly enough, I think a lot of what I dream about for the world is a little bit less. Um, ah, man, how do I even, how do I describe this? I think I don't, I don't dream too much about interconnections. Like I, I dream about interconnections in the way that I'm constantly be like, oh, I want to be working on it. Like, oh, like I, I, I'd love to, I'd love to see more about interconnections. I get very excited for it, but I think for interconnections, I, I almost want to say I may be like, if, if I do dream about any part of interconnections, I want to say that, like, maybe I dream more about Nyaje, which is the the place that Taba goes to later. I think I just, I dream more about Nyaje because I think um, Nyaje is heavily inspired by Taipei. So it's very much like in my brain, I'm like, mmm, paradise. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> not, not paradise. There's no place on earth that's paradise. But I'm I have a lot of fond memories of, of Taipei. So it's like it's very like, oh, like that's that's the um I feel like Taipei in my brain, I'm like, that's ah, what a what a great city. I love this city. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. -hmm. Oh, and I see dust. No, yeah, totally. That makes a lot of sense. I think um, Blender is definitely like you don't you don't get gratification that quickly from it. It's like it's a slow process, though. Like, yeah, it's definitely a slow process.
Every time you see me just pause for a bit, know that my program is like auto-saving and I'm just like sitting here waiting for it. It's nice though, it's like a mandatory break a little bit. Okay, this is where... This is where the elevator is! The elevator! The elevator! And oh, I see Huntress. Thank you for the information. That makes sense. You want the clothing to be like a separate mesh on top of your like body mesh? That makes sense. That makes sense. And oh, wait, Whiskers, that's really cool. You visit a world similar to the world you create in your dreams. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to remember how this shot goes. It goes like, oh, and then the camera pans down. So this area is where the camera will pan down to. In which case, hold on, this is where the camera pans down to. This is where this is where the other kid is going to enter frame. So if that's the case, I want this to be way bigger. This POV needs to be like, whoa, yay. Because it's gonna go like that, and then this is how they are gonna look like. Just for reference, I'm gonna put all of these into this frame just so I can kind of see how it's gonna come together. That seems about right. Okay, maybe not quite right. I've I've once again once again I I should make this bigger. I should make this even bigger. I should make this bigger and then it should be like it should be like Anyways, I'm gonna figure out the POV. I'm going to. Just give me a moment. <laughs> Let me just sit here and marinate on this. Oh, you thought the, pa the pause is where my brain cog's moving? Sometimes. Sometimes the pause is my brain cog's moving. It if I... No, yeah, you're right. You know, I'll just leave it up to interpretation. <laughs> it could be one of many things. It could be my brain cog's moving. It could be... It could be... It could be a, a whole manner of things. Let's see. It's just easier to sculpt when doing anything organic and the re apologize the edge float later. Okay. That makes sense, Huntress. That makes sense. My brain cogs, they go... Maybe not that... Rusty. If they were that rusty, I would I would have to be like, I gotta re-oil these brain cogs. Ooh. Guys, how rusty do you think your brain cogs are? Tell me about the rust levels. This is maybe more accurate because I'm realizing this top part over here. I think I think Nala at their full height probably goes up to like is like about to start hitting the edge of that. I'm going to go back to the 3D to kind of get a feeling. No, I think fully Nala maybe has to like do a slight duck when they go anywhere. So I think like Nala is like this high. So this is Nala swimming towards us, right? But even then, I think Nala looks too tiny in this frame. So I'm going to... A little bit smaller. 
I'm gonna go until Nala feels like they would hit the edge. Okay, that seems about right. <laughs> would Nala hit the edge if they straightened up? Maybe. Um... But at the same time, I don't think they're coming in that tightly. Does, does that make sense? Like, I don't think they're... I don't think you would... <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm just gonna think. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You know what? Fuck, I'm gonna go with this. So the reason why I'm going with this distance for the background and for the POV shot is because... Um... <sighs> The reason I'm doing this is because I feel like if I were to put it so that they are coming into these individuals are coming into view right as they turn the corner, that would imply that they came out of this hallway and then they like hugged the wall all the way until they showed up, which is not that would be weird. Why would they do that? If they walked from a distance, you would start seeing them sooner. Like you would you would see them before they got close enough to really round the edge of the turn. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? They're more in the distance right now, is what I'm trying to say. They're like, they're, 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 they're turning out of the hallway. All of that is to say. Oh, Whiskers, you need your brain cog serviced and replaced? Ah. Huh? Huh? Ay -ay -ay. Hey, understandable. Have a nice day. This background was so cute, but alas. Oh, I want to save this calendar. I'm saving this calendar. Okay, let's go. Let's make this background like this color, and then I'm going to go all the way down to here, back to here. Um, okay, perspective's a little bit different now, so I'm gonna go ahead and say perspective probably goes like this this is the other chair which you don't even see in this frame but i need this because there's going to be the ropes coming up right ropes and Okay, give me the give me the fridges, the built-in fridges. I'm gonna put one handle here. I'm gonna put a drawing here that Taba did. You know, I think people will always have little drawings that they do. I'm gonna draw this with my left hand. This is Shuri. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh huh. This is Taba. Oh, my gosh. Happy family. This is Shuri. The legs will be too long, but that's, that's totally fine.
Ashery, and then okay, we have to add the other people, right? So I'm gonna put Nala in. This is gonna be a huge family photo because because of the pack system, right? So I think Taba would have grown up with like a lot of people because of the pack system. So there's gonna be Nala here with Nala's many, many tentacles. Here's Nala, and then Nala has a lot of makeup, so I think um, Tapa would just draw it as two big circles. I should make Nala way bigger. I should make Nala huge, actually. Hold on. Nala is going to be huge. I think in, in, in Tapa's mind, Nala is like a huge presence. Well, not huge presence, but like a huge individual. Um. And then I think we need to include the other pack members. I think it's going to be like... Okay, I'm just going to draw them one by one. And then as we run out of space, I think Tapa will start drawing people in the corners like way smaller than they actually are in real life just to fit them all into frame. <laughs> what the heck, you guys? Ah. Uh... Let's see, who are like prominent figures in their lives? So we're gonna go ahead and say the roommate. The roommate's gotta be here. They're they're not smiling a lot, so Taba's not gonna make them smile. They are a snake person. Wearing formal wear all, quite frequently, and then I think, I think uh, Taba would put in the moth person. And then I think Taba would also put in, who's another person that shows up a lot? I think, I think. I haven't given them a name yet, but this is... This is, uh, Shuri's pack mate. Like another bird- oops! <laughs> another bird person. They have like hair like this a little bit. And then okay, time for other pack mates. There's a there is a lizard person. They have like little horns. <laughs> Ooh, this is this page is filling up. Um, let's see who else. Uh, I think Nala has a pack mate that's also like another octopus person, so I'm gonna put that in. And then I think you know, there's like there's there's a bunch of other people. Um, lizard person, yeah, here, let me show you lizard person. This is lizard person. Oh, thank you for the heart! Oh, <laughs> sorry, the heart is so fun to see. Where is the freaking li lizard person? All the way back. This person. This is great too, because I can actually look at this for reference, right? So we have we have lizard person. I think lizard person is a little more prominent in early Tava's life. I think I think deer person is also prominent, so I need to add the deer. This is lizard. Lizard and then um we've already put the octopus person in. I think we need to put the eagle mech person.
That 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 one right there. You love the design. Thank you. How are you like? Wait, who are you claiming whiskers? <laughs> I didn't know we were claiming people. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I'm going to the ceremony so I can spot more people in the background. Mm. <laughs> Whiskers, what do you think about this outfit? Wait, well, yeah, the moth person is your favorite, Whiskers. What do you think about this outfit, Whiskers? <laughs> oh, a very, a, a very tr traditional, lovely outfit. You know, the moth person's got like a big old pointy hat with like little crystals dingling off of them. Uh... <laughs> they have like a really like fr like like frilly like. Like, like, neck piece, very, like, very, um, what would you even call this neck piece? Clown adjacent? But in this world, it's considered fancy. The way it's done is fancy. You need a gold chain with the ace of spades around the neck? I'm doing it. <laughs> Wait, you're turning them into a rapper. I don't even know if rappers in this world wear gold chains. <laughs> I'll I'll put a little something. Here you go. They're wearing a they're wearing a little necklace now. Wait, how would how would a moth even get this around their neck? No, it's 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 fine. They can probably reach around and like hook it together or something. I was like, you can't put it over your head because I think I don't think it would fit over the head. It's fine. You could just hook it behind the neck with, with your little hands. <laughs> I look away for five minutes and then suddenly I'm like, oh, you guys have, you guys all have your, <laughs> you guys have all chosen your character. It's a D and D group. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add them all in. They're go they're all gonna be in this little drawing. Everyone's gonna be here. I need your person. I legit, I think, um, dear person is, we're running out of space. I think I'm going to put dear person like right, right down here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go to keyboard shortcuts. We're going to change it to left hand. Um, This seems like something a kid would do. They would be like, there's no more room. And so they would just draw, like, they would try to fit the person in no matter what. And it would kind of be like this, maybe. And they would be like, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw the nose. And they just kind of make it parallel. And then the horns, the horns. Um, and then they need like the big robot person, so they're gonna put the robot person in. Well, robot the mech. Uh, I need to come up with actual names for these guys. I'm realizing. Here, I'm gonna put them in. Yeah, perfect. You love their designs. Thank you, Natobies. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We're missing the cat! Oh shit. No, I know where to put the cat. I don't know if you guys saw the cat earlier. Hold on, I need to show you the cat. I'm quite fond of the cat. Um, where's the dang cat? Wait, did I not put the cat in the group photo? The group photo? Not the group photo. The, um... The shot that has everyone in them. No, no, no. Oh, the cat's right here. <laughs> ah, the moth is perched upon the cat's head. It's it's a dynamic that they're all very fond of. Uh, ears. That's the cat. Hmm. 
and then and then the moth perches upon the cat's head right here. The moth lands. <laughs> That's their dynamic. The the moth's like, can I land on your head? And the cat's like, of course. You claim the cat? No, <laughs> you'll take the pair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You claim all small cats as per your name. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. Totally. You know the name of the back of the truck with the really long lady to fit her around the handle? What? <laughs> Wait, Cathal, you have to show me this meme. You have to show me this meme. Little moth x little meow. <laughs> You're turning them into a rap group. Uh... Little moth, little meow. Yeah, this is great. That's the that's the photo, the family pic. Thank you for coming along with me on this little adventure. I'm gonna put a little fridge magnet here. Oh no, Kassal! <laughs> oh no! Oh, I'm gonna put more magnets. That's usually how it is, right? You just have like a bunch of magnets everywhere. That you just kind of like have against your fridge and you have nothing hung up. Ain't that the way. You have to write them a rap song! <laughs> That's so fun, because that does imply that, like, in all universes, rap is a thing, which is beautiful. I guess I'm wondering if rap would be different in any way. I'm, like, thinking about it. Rap is ultimately... poetry turned into a verbal song format, correct? That's basically what rap is. So I guess like I could definitely see this occurring in every universe. It just maybe would have like different. I could definitely see rap having like different. Hmm. Maybe like different trends and maybe like lyrical rules, maybe. I could see that being a thing. But then I gotta think of it. Hmm. I don't think I know rap well enough currently to be able to come up with different rap lyrical rules. I'll think about it. You need to store your magnet somewhere? So true. So true. What's my favorite rap song? I'm thinking. I'm going to be real, like, I- part of me is like, I love the Persona F.E.S. opening. I'm like, that's my favorite rap song. But let me think about it some more. Um... I really like, uh... Calliope Mori's End of a Life. That one's pretty good. Um... I need to think more about this. Perhaps. Yeah, I need to think more about this. You thinking the beats are from animal steps or wing beats? True, I could also see... I could also see certain versions of rap having like a very like traditional... place in their culture. I could see there being rap forms that you would use during certain like... ceremonies. Apps. Something a normie like you and them, please. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes. Wait. Yeah. You. You also have normie pass. Um. Oh 
Oh shoot, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Give me a moment, please. Hello, hello. Okay, I'm gonna say for sure this pillar is gonna be right here. This is where this pillar is gonna be. No, uh, no, no alteration. No, no um, what do you call it? There will not be just that. I like I like the column being here. I like the column being here. I there's gonna be another column in the background here, and then this is the one that's like messing me up. If we go by this perspective. This goes all the way out here. You know what? Fine. We'll fucking take it. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. Perspective is weird, but we're here, baby. Oh, heck yeah, Cathal. I'm looking. I come perceive. I need to make sure my this is not gonna show on the stream. Let me take a peek. <laughs> oh, this was really good. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> it really is like fit the whole thing in the picture, please, and they really fit the whole thing in the picture. It's kind of beautiful. I kind of really love it. If, if anything, it feels very passionate. It's quite good. It's quite good. Wait the fucking second. I did the perspective wrong. Holy, holy, bro. Okay, this needs to be like fucking. This should have been here. What am I thinking? Just because the. Holy, bro. Should be, it should be, it should be. The, the perspective in the horizon line does not change even when the background is being scaled and moved around. Fuck. Okay, it should be like here. Should be here. Okay. Wait, no, it should be, 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 it should be. I'm gonna say here. No wonder everything looked so weird. My perspective was wrong. Alright. Let me in, bro. It's time. Ah, uh, now it all comes together. Hey! Yippee! Ah, uh, it's always good when you figure out what you did wrong with perspective and then now all of a sudden everything clicks perfectly. It's like, ah, uh, now the shot makes sense. Before I was like, something here feels wrong. <laughs> I can't put my finger on it, but something here doesn't feel right. Alright, get me up over there. Get here. In fact, let's... I'm gonna... Never mind. It chews into it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? 
It chews into the column ever so slightly. Just saying. Wait, why am I drawing all the way fucking out there? No one's gonna see this part. I, I, uh... Okay, there's that, and then I want... This here is the elevator... So in my mind, the elevator is just a platform, and it has little guardrails around it so you don't just, like, fall off really easily, but it's definitely something that, like... You gotta be careful about. You should not be dancing on the elevator as it goes up unless you are prepared to catch yourself if you fall off it. Uh... It's not completely enclosed. Oh, is this safe for ID Lost? I think so. If you're not sure, you can put a little spoiler on it and then you can say, spoiler because the lady is in a bikini, but don't worry, it's not NSFW. <laughs> it's not NSFW. <laughs> oh gosh, it's so funny. Not like a wheelchair lift, exactly. It's, it's basically a wheelchair lift. You, you nailed it. It's a wheelchair lift, but it goes like really high. It's like a little bit faster than a wheelchair lift. Um, I think when it lands, there's like a little, a little ramp. It's like a little ramp comes down. Punk. Like this, it could be like that. <sighs> That's the wheelchair lift. I'll just leave it like that for now. I don't want to design the rest of it. Like, I could, I don't want to. I'll leave that for a future me to figure out. Because also, like, I think the elevators are about to go undergo a slight design change as well. From an in-game, in-game, in-game. This is D and D. From a, from like a in-story reason, they're gonna undergo a slight design change because we're about to undergo a, a a fairly big tech shift in this world. So Taba is growing up at a time where things are about to start becoming mass-produced te technology-wise in terms of like magic. Magitech is about to start getting mass-produced. There we go. I posted a sussy pose of two characters from the Otome game? Oh, I remember now. <laughs> I was gonna be like, no, I haven't. And I was like, oh wait, yes I have. <laughs> ah ha ha, wait, I remember now, ha <laughs> lol. I remember. Ah, uh, we should play more of that Otome game, I'm telling you. We gotta get back into it. It's just, there's so many things to do. So many things. Okay, the columns probably also have designs on them. Oh, shit, dude. Me realizing that I've no, it's fine. It's fine. I'm so strong. I'm so strong. I can do this. I'm so strong. I'm I'm the I'm the fucking idiot that's like, oh, I want the design for this part of the world to be inspired by Rococo. <laughs> what was I thinking? <sighs> it's okay. It's gonna look so good. I'm only gonna draw it like once or twice, maybe, and then I'm gonna like. <laughs> For me. Okay. I'm gonna do that. That would be the indication that this is like a flower, right? And then we're gonna just do this like a couple more times. I'm gonna like fill these in just like a little bit differently. Okay. 
So many to play already. So many Otomi, so many Gacha. So true. Oh my goodness. My dude. It's just, it's so much. I need to like think about how to shorthand this. I mean, I think I'm I'm kind of doing it right now, right? They're like they're like the flowers. There's like a divider. I have to see this in the Discord. I'm like running to see. I need to see if you posted this. <laughs> Ah, so good. Thank you, Cathal, for posting that. That's just so beautiful. That's just so beautiful. I love that. I love that painting. Painting? The little decal? I love that decal. Honestly, beautiful, riveting, um, incredible. But yeah, you're totally right, Kaval. There's so many games to play. So many games to play, so many games trying to distract me from my one true love working on my web series. It's hard out here. I'm so glad that we're working on the web series again though. I'm so glad to be streaming this. I've been so much more productive on my web series since I've been streaming this. Oh yeah, I'm so happy. Copy this one and just stick it down. Never mind, I'm gonna stick this down here. How does the final block look? I'm gonna go ahead and say that it doesn't go snug to the end. It, like, it's it's a little hovered over the ground because I think that looks a little bit better. It makes it look more like there's a there's an end to it instead of just having it cut off exactly at a flower. I'm gonna give it like a like a extra border. <laughs> Feel like all that? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I'm in the same boat. Like, what, what, what game was I talking about? So the game that Whiskers was referring to was called, um, was called, is called, uh, Love Brush Chronicles. That one's fun. I need to play the other routes because I've only done one route so far. Only done one route, but it's been very fun. And yeah, been stuck on that. And then the gacha games I'm playing. The gacha games I've been like messing around with are like. Ooh, wait, I know how to decorate the bottom of these. These guys? Hold on. Oh shit. Okay, hold on. 
I don't know how to decorate these. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. Uh, but yeah, the gacha games I am kind of dabbling in are like Reverse 1999. Um, there's also... I haven't logged into that into that for a while. Reverse, um, Genshin Star Rail, um, Love Brush Chronicles. Yeah, it was the one I played a little bit on stream. That one was that one was very fun. Love Brush Chronicles, and then I am also playing. Um, also, I'm also playing. Um, Tears of Themis. I'm trying to kind of get back into. But like, to be honest, I am like fully... <laughs> Bro, I am fully just like not... Not even really logging into like half of those. I log into Star Rail and Genshin. I try to at least. And then the others... <laughs> Oh wait, I've been playing Grand Blue again recently. So I got I got really lucky pulls and I can go Dark Primal now. So I'm trying to build for that. I want to build Dark Primal up and then I can farm Horus for the upcoming Guild War. <sighs> I sigh. This one be kind of like Yeah, okay, that's like some simple looking but nice nice decoration for the bottom of this column. I'm gonna give the bottom bar a little bit more space to make it look more grounded. Blink redeem, blink redeem, don't forget to blink, you guys. My hubris says I forget to blink, but you, you must remember to blink. Don't be like me. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. This is it! This is the background! I'm gonna update all of these backgrounds! Okay, the perspective's a little bit wrong. It's fine. I think the scaling is wrong, right? So like this shot... Should be like here. This shot, it would be like... Doop. I think for this one... Closer this way. Should be more here. You can tell I'm cheating a little bit. This is literally these are these two are the same poses, but forgive me, <laughs> please. Okay, I think I need to try and copy and paste this. Can I copy this? Copy. Please paste these into here. 
Paste these guides, please. This will help me scale people. Start with MP frame. Okay, that's where we want them. So I think in the first frame, they have to be like this tiny. Maybe I could, maybe I could, maybe I can trick the audience. <laughs> maybe I can trick you guys. Give me a moment. I'm going to try, I'm going to try to trick you guys. Uh, okay, there's, there's that. What if I do, do, do. Okay, I'm gonna look at the feet first. So this looks like it's moving correctly a little bit. This could be higher. Okay, I believe it. Now for the top of the head, does this look right? Um, wait, oh, no, they're too big. <laughs> Make you just a little bit smaller, please. Just a little bit. They're moving in perspective a lot. I don't know about this, but you know what? <sighs> it's, this is good enough. It's fine. You guys will forgive me for... For this, right? This is good enough. It was an Otome with a girl that could draw a hot man. Very meta. True! Dude, Love Brush Chronicles is pretty meta. You're right. Do be meta. Yeah, I think that, wait, I actually think the perspective is shifting too much. I've I've borked it up. Okay, wait, I just a little bit more like this. Just a bit more. I've borked it. Because they're not moving parallel to the camera, right? They're moving outwards a little bit to like accommodate. I don't, I don't know. <sighs> they're, they're, it's fine. It's Everything looks good to you. Thank you, Whiskers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then the last thing we got to do before this is all over, you guys, is that we need to add rope. This should be, this should not take too long. This should be a little bit faster. This should be like... Maybe I should start designing furniture that is easy to animate instead of furniture that I think would make sense from a uh, from a world building perspective. 
Yeah, maybe uh, next time, you know, next time. Blink, redeem, blink, redeem. Don't forget to blink. Oh, wait, no. And the... Oh, shit. I messed up. The chair should not look like this. I was like, wait, does it, why does the chair look like that? It should be like of the perspective um, specifically it should be like here and then this should go here. I'm not a perfectionist but in this moment I feel like maybe I am maybe a little bit I think maybe, if anything, I may be like a little bit perfectionist. Just like a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <sighs> it covers up the flowers! Wait, 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 wait. I can fix this. I'm gonna cheat this. I'm gonna say it's actually here. <laughs> yeah, there we go, baby. There we go. Um... I still want part of the flowers to be peeking out. There we go. <laughs> See? See? Don't worry. I'm not perfectionist because I just cheated just now. A bit? Copium? I'm just a little bit perfectionist sometimes, okay? Just a little bit. Wait, does the camera reveal this this little thing? No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, rope. Give me that sweet, sweet old finish. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to move the whole camera to show the flowers, baby. Uh, okay. I think the gray is probably something like this. I'm gonna get rid of the sketch now. BG. I'm gonna do this. And expand this out here. Ugh. I think I'm starting to feel it. I'm starting to like, I can feel my body start to like very slowly be like, I'm good. So <laughs> like, oh, hang in there, buddy. Okay, for this last one, I'm gonna add an extra. These four frames, baby. We're good! I mean, the wall is so blank, but it's fine. I'll... I can probably figure out something to add to the wall later if I really wanted to, but I think I'm good. Ah! Okay, I think... I think that's enough for this stream. We got a lot done! So many frames! So many frame backgrounds updated. We cruising. I'm gonna- tonight, I'm gonna see if I can update some more. You know, the more progress we make, the better. I can't wait- I can't wait to get to the new frames! Live, laugh, love, sigh. So true. <sighs> okay. All right, that was very fun. Time to wrap things up. Oh, so thank you guys for coming to the stream. Thanks for coming to witness me work on this. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. 
thank you guys thank you guys for dropping by i hope you know if you were being productive alongside me i hope your productivity went good if not if you were just relaxing i hope your relaxing went good please have a wonderful rest of your day um i i hope that you will get plenty of rest and have a good time no no i i, I feel like i was so productive this stream. i'm so happy thank you guys thank you guys wait all right I will end stream. Farewell. Bye.